Reporting live from Hyper Clubhouse in Atlanta for High Plus News, I'm John Avila. In the midst of his public auction for one third of Rockefeller Records, Dame Dash is now defending himself online, attempting to silence his critics for calling him broke, mainly 50 Cent and others. Earlier this week, as a guest on the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, 50 Cent would recall the moment in his career where he received a $1 million deal from Shady Records. According to 50, Dame Dash was the one that told him $1 million wasn't that much money. Now, during the interview, 50 would reveal words he got from Dame that stuck with him till today. He would say, the only person that pointed out a million dollars was no money was Damon Dash, and he has no money now. And I was like, nigga, I'm from 134th Street. A million dollars is a lot of money. I'm thinking I hit the lotto. How you gonna say it's no money? Well, it looks like Damon Dash caught wind of 50's comments and took to social media to challenge 50 Cent to a CEO competition involving their respective networks, America New, and 50 Cent Action. Now, in a full video release on YouTube, Damon would invite 50 to a CEO war and challenge him to release an original movie on his network to go up against his own. In addition, he will also challenge 50 to buy his one-third stake in Rockefeller when it goes up for sale at an auction towards the end of September. After making these claims, Dame would also predict 50 isn't ready for the battle, but still invited to partake. But he has to do it right now. He has to have the power to drop right now. Because I'm dropping right now because I could. Because that's what broke niggas do. But that's where the money went. Every week, I'm going to tell you and show you how I went broke. Why I don't have any money. So that you don't get affected the same way. And this series under the CEO on America New Network exclusively is called Bosses Take Most. For me, the ultimate wealth is having a family. You go through your ups and downs, but you gotta be able to work that out. And this is all I work for is my children. From there, Dane would address going broke and would tell viewers that from now until the auction day, he will tell his audience how he went broke in a series of courses titled Bosses Take Losses. Dan would also call out the host of Earn Your Leisure's podcast and express himself disappointed in them for not checking in with him to see if the information they were pushing was true, despite being supportive of them and their platform for some time. According to Dame, the podcast would report a misleading headline. Further, Dame would also reveal he called the host and they assured Dame that they would speak on the matter, but according to Dame, they never did. Despite this, he would say he's still cool with the host of the podcast, but wanted to articulate his disagreement with them. So what do you guys think about Dame's new challenge to 50 Cent? As well as how does it make you feel to hear one of our entrepreneurial greats declaring that they are broke? Stay up to date for the latest news and comedy and culture by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and follow Hype Plus across all social media. Plus, head over to HypersClub.com right now to get your membership and check out more content. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to send us a super thanks by hitting the button below and you could tip us what you want to show your support. Reporting live from Hyper Clubhouse in Atlanta for Hype Plus News, I'm John Alba. Did y'all enjoy that? We've got so much more for you at hypersclub.com. Our exclusive interviews and backstage content gives you the chance to fill a part of the club. So what are you waiting for? Come on and join.